Welcome back to Sip the Tally Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans, and today we may have a little spicy one today. It's probably going to rub some people wrong, but I'm just going to put it out there, and you make the decision based off what you've seen. I know you've all watched all the games. I'm going to throw a few numbers out here and let you be the deciding factor. You have your own opinion. I have my opinion. Not to say yours is wrong, not to say mine is right. I'm just going to throw it out there, and let's see where it goes. So there's this notion floating around that Mark Andrews, I don't want to say ruined the offense or is a a hindrance to the offense. And Lamar has his problems, and everybody else has problems too, but specifically we're going to talk about Mark Andrews today. That, um, you know, the ball is forced to him. He commands the ball. He, he, he doesn't do different things the way he needs to do in the Florida offense. All these different things are floating out there. What I wanted to do was, you know, I was having some conversations and I looked up like Lamar's stats while Mark was on the team. But not on the team, but not hurt because he's still on the team. Weeks one through 10, he got hurt week 11. Lamar had, I think, two. Make sure I'm right because I want to tell you no false information. All right, so while Mark was healthy, weeks one through 10, Mark got hurt week 11. Lamar had one game where he threw for over 250 yards. One. Mark got hurt week 11, went out early in that game. So from week 11 until the final game, Lamar had four games over 250. I'm just throwing the numbers out there. I got some more numbers I'm going to give to you. Um, now, obviously, I myself think Mark does a okay job of just having a lot of options in his routes. You know, he'll run the space and sit down and not really do what the card may say do, and he ends up being in the same space as other receivers. Sometimes it helps, sometimes it don't. And Mark's a pretty reliable guy on third down for the most part, for the most part. But there's this notion that he's the number one guy no matter if he's covered or not, and it takes away from the rest of the team. It's like and if, and a lot of people feel like when he went out, the offense opened up. I kind of feel that way too. Not to say I would get rid of Mark or Mark shouldn't play, but I just felt like once he went out, the entire offense opened up, and we saw what could be if we just spread it around and didn't necessarily focus in on one guy. Now, if you got a, a guy and people can't guard him, yeah, you go to him. Like a Kelsey, like a Justin Jefferson. Like, a, um, who are the other big name receivers? Like uh, Justin Jefferson, Kelsey, you're looking at Devontae Adams. Guys, like, if you got a guy, yes, you go to him. I don't think we have a guy. We got some guys, but we don't have a guy. So just spread it out and whoever's open, take what the defense gives you. And that's going to be my mantra for the whole offseason. Take what the defense gives you. But let me give you these few other numbers before I let you get up out of here. Now, weeks one through 11, Mark was healthy. Mark was, these are his targets. These are targets for guys. Mark had 5.45 targets per game, and I broke it down per game. Zay had 6.3. Odell had uh, 3.72, Bateman had 2.8, Nelly had 2.7, likely had one a game, one target a game. Then I lumped the running backs in together. I lumped in Ricard, J.K. for his one game, Keaton for his few games, Justice Hill, and Gus Edwards. Those are the five running backs I lumped into one category. And they had 3.45 targets per game while Mark was healthy. But Mark left when he got injured. Zay's targets went up a half a percent. Odell's targets went up a half a percent. Bateman's targets went up a half a percent. Nelly's targets went up a half a percent. Likely's targets went up four times. He went from one target a game to 4.3. And then the running backs went from 3.45 to 4.8. That's other people touching the ball. There's different people touching the ball, which I like because you can't really hone in, hone in on one guy and say, if we stop this guy, we stop the offense. Now, let's look at Lamar's passing yards while Mark was on the team. And it's not a huge difference from when he went in and when he went out. Uh, weeks 1 through 10, he was 217.7 yards per game with a passer rating of 99.1. Weeks 11 through 17, because he didn't play week 18, he was uh, 247.4 yards a game, which is an increase of 30 yards, and a passer rating of 106.2, which is 7% higher on the passer rating. And the last that I want to give to you is catch production. 
Now, this is weeks one through 10. This is an average for those same set of guys I showed you on the targets. So week one through 10, Mark had 4.5 catches a game for 54.5 yards a game. Look at Zay. Zay had almost the exact same production as Mark Andrews. He had five catches a game for 54.5 yards per game. Odell, 2.5 for 32 yards a game. Bateman, 2.1 for 22 yards a game. Nelly, 1.8 for 22 yards a game. Likely less than one catch per game for those first 10 games. He had a .9. All that talent, all that ability, he had a .9 catch per game for the first 10 games. So that means he le averaged less than one catch per game. There were a couple zeros in there too for likely. And then the running backs, those same running backs I talked about earlier, 3.1 catches per game for 27.8 yards per game. Now, when Mark goes out, and I included the game he got hurt in because he got hurt kind of early. So, week 17 through 11, obviously Mark had nothing. Uh, Zay, went, Zay actually went down in catches and only went down two yards in, in yards, so he went to 52.1. Odell had the same amount of catches per game, but he went up in yards, went up almost 20 yards in yards. And it won't seem like it because he didn't do – a lot in the playoffs, but we think about regular season right here. These don't include the playoffs. Bateman. Bateman's catches went down when Mark went out. How the heck does that happen? How? He went from 2.1 a game to 1.9. His yards went down what? His yards actually went up. So he was his yards per catch were better. But it's crazy that his catches go down. Nelly catches went up. Uh, his average stayed the same. Likely catches went from not even one a game to three a game and four to six yards a game. And then running backs went up basically a catch per game and averaged 11 more yards per game. So you guys tell me if you think Mark is a hindrance to the offense or Mark is the key to unlocking the offense and just put it in the comment section what you think about this information. I ain't really going to say one way or the other. I do value Mark as a player on this team, um, but I do like the way the offense opened up and kind of felt like it was starting to blossom when he was hurt. But there, that in no way, shape, or form, I saying get rid of Mark. So put what you guys think in the comment section. I love to read it, uh, chat about it, and I appreciate you guys for coming through. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. And remember, before you go, like, comment, subscribe, and share this info. Peace and love, y'all.